Okay, I am back. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the Madcap Mako here. Version 2 is live once again. Now, uh, this is kind of a weird thing, but uh, last time I tried to do a Let's Play on Code Veronica was uh, what's happened. It just happened this Saturday, though my stream was a little poopy, as, uh, as you probably tell from the ending of that video if you were to uh, tune in on that. I kind of skipped a very important room in a very important place that would require me to backtrack more time into uh, fetching a certain item there but you know because of my own OCD and pretty much just like the pressure of dealing with a lot more time to kind of backtrack all the way back there again I felt the need I would just call it quits but uh, find a day to just try again and probably do a more proper play um, So right now it's uh, it's raining over here in Texas So I thought hey, why not? I'm in the mood for some Resident Evil again. So why don't we just like take the time to uh, uh, Do part one of this let's play and actually do it with uh, with a bit more thought into it So this is going to be a full let's play of uh, part one, as I'm likely going, going to stop at the end of the Rockford Island section playing as Claire. Because uh, this is going to be no saves, no first aid sprays uh, for this let's play, as I tend to do best. Uh, and the save midway into the game that we'll ask you to do is pretty much a freebie, so it won't count as going against like your... Uh, speed run performance so with that out of the way let's let's do it again but this time with feeling resident evil okay, maybe not I thought by loading it up I probably have a file on there that what started from scratch, but Resident maybe. Evil. Now let's see here. I'm going to adjust the volume so it doesn't take too much because we all seen the whole cutscene already, so it's uh it's uh very needless for me to just play up in full stereo. But this will all still include like the same cutscenes as uh, the first attempt of this Let's Play. But um, anyways, um, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, um, as I've probably said so like, before. Um, this game in particular, uh, I've never played when I was growing up, um, as as I was pretty much just raised on Resident Evil 4, and I, and that came pretty later in life. Uh, but my first experience, my first exposure to Resident Evil happened to be Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Um, as pretty much that game was pretty much just like my introduction to zombie horror. And I will remember like the opening cutscene for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, was one of like the key nightmares of my childhood. Uh, just to think like a, a zombie horror happening uh, even locally, let's say in real life. is a pretty terrifying thought. Um, so... Uh, I played a bit of it, but, you know, it wasn't just rated M because of the whole blood and gore um, and guts. But uh, it seemed to be just much more than just like, hey, why don't you just uh, uh, kill some time shooting some zombaloids. But turns out there were like puzzles that I didn't really understand, so I kind of got stuck at, at a point in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis where... Eventually, I did end up playing it years later, and I mean many years later, when I was in uh, in my second phase of my college years, where I still had my old PlayStation 3, downloaded uh, Resident Evil, the director's cut, and then 2 and 3, and was able to uh, actually get my own access to Resident Evil 3, so that's that was pretty awesome. And yeah, by that point, I'd still... By that point, I continue on and was able to complete the game, but... You know, from there on, uh, I was uh, later introduced to Resident Evil 4, which was a classic in its own right. 
Resident Evil 2, who I borrowed from a friend of mine from school. And, uh, well, there wasn't a whole lot of Resident Evil game access, uh, considering that I didn't really have my old consoles, but, you know, at the time I had a PS2 and a PS3. Um, and we eventually did get a Wii and a 360, but that's a whole story on its own. But the only games that I was able to have access was... Four and uh, one of the outbreak games, uh, File Two. Uh, but but by that point, um, with the seventh generation of gaming consoles were being pushed out, uh, a lot more hotter titles were being uh, pushed out into the market. So Resident Evil Code Veronica was very hard to acquire, at, especially at my local GameStop. Uh, but I think nowadays with like the whole market with the uh, used media and I don't mean like there's a whole market out there that's a, that is in support of like the gaming industry but like you know its own third party market of used media is pretty popular nowadays where you can probably find old uh, copies of Resident Evil um, and I happen to found a th Xbox 360 and uh, was able to find the HD port of Resident Evil Code Veronica. Now, this is not the uh, the HD port for Code Veronica. This is actually the uh, the PlayStation 2 port that I downloaded onto my PlayStation 4. And um, you know, uh, long story short, uh, visually, like this game was, uh, it doesn't really hold up on an upscale value. But as we are going to get started on the game here. Um, it's still pretty. It's it's pretty much still a fun game to to play, especially with today's standards. But um, here's a hot take. I'm definitely more of a fan of the classic uh, Resident Evil lineup of games uh, with uh, one, two, and three, and Code Veronica, and then you have uh, remake and Resident Evil Zero, which were like those two games in particular were like the cap off of like the uh, traditional gameplay design for Resident Evil, but visually, Remake and Zero were leaning into that whole era that would later be defined by uh, Resident Evil 4. But in any case, this um, taken over. But Code Veronica itself, it's pretty much like an end of an era uh, for like the uh, the older um, the older console releases, um, and I mean older than the uh, sixth generation, as uh, originally Resident Evil Code Veronica was supposed to be the third sequel uh, to uh, Resident Evil to Resident Evil Two, but there was a change of plans within its development phase that they wanted to uh, push the game.